How insane is this video? Unbelievable. A plane crashes in Brookshire, Texas. 21 people on board. They all survived. It's an absolute miracle. And we'll start with some of the overhead footage, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to show you in this video today. Not only will we see the crash footage, which you're starting to see now, a lot of jet fuel there, a lot of flames kicking up when this plane crashed in Texas. It's amazing that all 21 people got out alive. Only one person with like a small back injury. I'm also going to show you an eyewitness telling her story of what she saw. We'll hear from a local official about how this all went down, and we'll hear the details on what actually caused this crash. And then finally, why were these folks in this uh, plane to begin with? Where were they headed? It might shock you. So here we are. We're now seeing this footage. It is just a raging fire. All that jet fuel from this uh, crash is really ripping up. I mean, it's really going at a fast pace. Look at this fire just ripping away at the fuselage of the plane. And it doesn't take long before there's not much left. And you'll see here that this is basically just the charred remains of a passenger plane now. You can see what's left of the two engines at the back. And obviously you can see the tail of the plane as well. That's all we have left of this thing. It's a fiery inferno. And it's fairly uh, impressive to look at. Impressive in one of those very dark and, um, you know, demolition man kind of ways. Uh, but this uh, flight is uh, miraculously not one that ended in death. Uh, and 21 people, that includes people who are on the flight as passengers and the crew, survived this. They were able to quickly get off of this uh, jet or out of this jet and this field in Texas and make their way elsewhere. Here is, this woman is a construction worker who also just so happened to uh, witness this plane crash. Here she is. I saw you directly crash. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't uh, really see much of the plane go down, um, but I did see the boom and I felt the explosion. So then we just came out here and started helping everybody, conduct traffic, make sure all the emergency people got in and out and everybody was good. Okay. And uh, do you know about what time it happened? I don't even know what time it is now. It's still <laughs> all chaotic. Uh, it, it's been about, what, an hour or two? Okay. And tell me again, you heard the boom? Uh, yeah, I was sitting in a truck directing traffic. The car going to hit her in the middle of an interview. <laughs> and uh, What's one way to do it? Boom and I looked back, and the truck kind of shook a little bit, and I could see the big orange flames up in the smoke. So. Okay, and my understanding is everybody got out safe. Is that what you're hearing? That's what we're hearing. Yeah, like you ask the witness. She doesn't know if everybody got out safe. They did, though, miraculously. Now, here's why this plane crashed today in this field in Texas. This is pretty interesting. This local news report shows you the intersection where this happened right outside the airport. And you can actually follow the tracks of this plane. It didn't lift up enough obviously, to get off of the runway, and that led it across the street. Now, let's follow the tracks. As you look here, you can actually see the tire tracks. It looks as though it never got off the ground, or if it did, just barely. Yeah, Tammy, uh, go back Go back to the end of the runway, if you could, because, Mel, I think you, you... There you go. Yeah. And you can actually see those two lines there before. And then, and then if you if you follow this off the end of the runway, so the plane would have been traveling the same direction as the camera is. This now. is what happened. And watch in, in the grass, it's hard to tell and certainly not definitive, but you can see tire tracks there. There'd be no reason to have such deep tire tracks in that road at the end of the runway. And then where that truck is stopped, it appears there's there continue to be tire tracks. And then Mel, as it approaches the fence, you can see the, the, the tire tracks and the divots get deeper. That's exactly right. You can also see it knock down the tops of some of those trees uh, and again, continue to travel. And as you pointed out, Ted, a little while ago, if we get to the actual site where the fight at fire is going on right now, you can see behind so the tail. So it couldn't tail, stop. Uh, a very, and there very it is. deep rut there as though the tail just sort of dragged mm -hmm. along. So now you know, it, this thing did not take off. It just dragged along that grass, probably made a hell of a noise as it uh, meandered off the end of the runway. And if it would have gotten much higher, this would have definitely ended in some fatalities. Uh, this is a press conference from uh, DPS and county officials after this wreck. And in a second, I'm going to tell you where these folks were headed in this uh, in this plane. Uh, 
uh, today I would like to start off by saying this is a good day. This is actually a day of celebration for a lot of people. So let me explain. Uh, today, the Texas Department of Public Safety, the Waller County Sheriff's Office, and Waller Harris ESD uh, 20 was called out to a scene of a plane crash right here in Waller County at FM 2855 and Morton. Once we arrived on scene, of course, uh, we observed uh, the plane in its state uh, engulfed, and we were advised that, of course, all individuals on board the plane, all 18 passengers and 13 crew members survived. Three. Uh, at this time, we're, we're getting reports that two individuals were transported uh, to the hospital uh, for, for their injuries, and this plane was actually uh, attempted to take off, but in a rolling state right here at the Houston Executive Airport here in Waller County, and, and never was able to uh, take flight. There you go. This is the press conference afterwards telling you exactly what happened here. Where was this uh, plane headed? Well, it was headed to uh, a baseball game. In fact, it was headed to the Astros ALCS game with 21 people on board when it rolled through a fence and caught fire in a field. They were indeed going to that American League Championship Series uh, game at Fenway Park, and they didn't make it there. They crashed right outside of Houston on a Tuesday morning, uh, and just miraculously amazing, everybody was able to survive. This is the type of plane that we're talking about right here. McDoug uh, McDonald uh, Douglas, um, I'll go back to that in just a moment, but this is a side look at the uh, M80, MD-87, which is what it is, the McDonald Douglas MD-87. In January 1985, uh, McDonnell Douglas announced it was produced shorter fuselage MD-80 series development aircraft. They called it the MD-87. It sat between 109 and 130 passengers, depending on the configuration. And this is a full-fledged passenger jet. So this is something probably that the folks that were headed to Fenway Park into the American League Championship Series game, uh, that they maybe had chartered and they were ready to uh, head out of town on this. Amazing. What do you think about this? Does this make you uh, frightened to fly? Are you uh, ready to jump on a flight right now as a result of seeing these people in their miraculous journey? Uh, do you credit the crew? Do you credit the fast uh, actions, I guess, of the passengers to get out of there? If you like this video, please do hit that share button so that your friends can see this video and comment on it as well. I look forward to those comments. I'll be there right beside you battling it out no matter what you think about this video. If you're new around here at Facebook.com slash The News Junkie, do me a favor. Hit that follow button for videos just like this every single day. On the quest for 100,000 followers, and I need your help, so hit that follow button now. YouTube.com slash The News Junkie. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you to my supporters. As always, I do appreciate it. That helps push me along. We'll talk to you again real soon.